Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring a medication known as Tepentadol, widely recognized by its brand name, Nacinta. As with all our discussions, this presentation is intended for educational purposes only. For health-related questions or concerns, it's crucial to consult a medical professional. Description Tepentadol, marketed under the brand name Nacinta, is an oral tablet that serves as an opioid pain medication. It's part of a class known as opioid analgesics, functioning by changing the way the brain and nervous system respond to pain. Tepentadol is prescribed to treat moderate to severe pain, particularly in cases where other pain treatments are not sufficient or cannot be tolerated. It's available in both immediate release and extended release formulations, with the latter being used for around-the-clock pain management. Nucinta ER is specifically designed for long-term pain control and is not intended for use on an as-needed basis for occasional pain. Warnings Tepentadol comes with its set of precautions. It has the potential for addiction, abuse, and misuse, which can lead to overdose and death. Therefore, it should be prescribed and taken with caution. Tepentadol use may result in respiratory depression, a serious risk that could be life-threatening, especially when taken in high doses or when combined with other substances that depress breathing. It's not recommended for individuals with severe respiratory conditions, acute or severe bronchial asthma, or hypercarbia. Before taking this medicine Before starting to pentadol, it's essential to inform your healthcare provider about any allergies to the medication and discuss any history of substance abuse, brain disorders, breathing problems, kidney disease, liver disease, mood disorders, stomach-slash-intestinal problems, difficulty urinating, gallbladder disease, or pancreas disease. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should consult their healthcare provider due to potential risks to the fetus or infant. It's also crucial to inform your doctor about any other medications or substances you're taking to avoid dangerous interactions. Side effects Common side effects of Tepentadol include nausea, vomiting, constipation, dizziness, drowsiness, and headache. It's important to seek medical attention if you experience signs of serotonin syndrome, such as agitation, hallucinations, fever, sweating, shivering, fast heart rate, muscle stiffness, twitching, loss of coordination, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, or severe side effects like shallow breathing, severe drowsiness slash dizziness, or a seizure. Interactions Tepentadol can interact with other medications, which can increase the risk of serious side effects or reduce the effectiveness of the medications. Inform your healthcare provider about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are taking. It's especially important to discuss the use of other opioid pain relievers, alcohol, marijuana, drugs for sleep or anxiety, muscle relaxants, antihistamines, and other medications that can cause drowsiness or breathing problems. Dosage The dosage of Tepentadol will vary depending on the individual's condition, response to treatment, and the specific formulation, immediate release versus extended release. Always follow your healthcare provider's instructions carefully. Do not increase your dose, take the medication more frequently, or take it for a longer time than prescribed. Avoid. While taking Tepentadol, it's advisable to avoid alcohol and other central nervous system depressants, which can exacerbate side effects like dizziness and drowsiness. Patients should also avoid activities requiring alertness, such as driving, until they understand how Tepentadol affects them. FAQ. A common question about Tepentadol is regarding its use in children. Currently, the safety and effectiveness of Tepentadol in individuals younger than 18 have not been established, and it's generally not recommended for pediatric use. Closing That concludes our overview of Tepentadol, branded as Nacinta. This information is designed to provide educational insights and should not substitute for professional medical advice. Always seek guidance from a healthcare provider for any medication-related questions or concerns. Thank you for joining this discussion.